Now, your WLKY weather with meteorologist Daniel Johnson. What a great day for outdoor activities. Still really nice if you want to get out and enjoy. Still a few more hours left until that sun goes down, or I guess about an hour and a half until the sun sets. And you can see it slowly setting right there on the horizon with a live look at Louisville. The temperature, 63 incredible degrees. And I say 63 incredible degrees because it just feels so nice out there compared to the cool weather that we had yesterday with all the clouds. Believe it or not, 63 still below average. We should be in the mid 60s for this time of year. So just a few degrees below where we should be. Uh, the low this morning got down to 36 and we did have a little bit of frost out there. It's 60 in Charlestown, Scottsburg and Seymour, 59 in North Vernon and 59 in E-Town. So feeling pretty nice, but our weather is about to change as we look west. We can see a cold front approaching just passing Omaha, Nebraska right now. That front is going to really slow down as it approaches, but you can see all the clouds associated with it. And that's gonna bring us a lot of cloud cover for your Monday and a chance for some scattered showers. Tonight though, we're dry, not as cold as last night. 44 degrees for that low temperature with clouds increasing ahead of that cold front. Tomorrow, on and off showers, not a washout, but grab that umbrella before you head out the door. You're gonna need it most of this week, believe it or not, off and on. Again, it's not gonna rain all day tomorrow. 60 degrees for that afternoon high temperature. So here's the detailed planner for tomorrow. If you're up early before six in the morning, we should be dry, but by eight, nine o'clock in the morning, we'll start to see showers roll through. Still a few showers by midday and then drying out for the afternoon with temperatures getting close to 60. So most of the rain on Monday will happen during the morning and midday hours. So if you have any plans, try to get them done in the afternoon. It's still not looking like the best day for outdoor activities. Clear skies for the next few hours here, but clouds build in from the west. Here comes that rain by your early morning commute on Monday. Scattered showers continuing through around lunchtime. Then we dry out as that rain shifts south. But that rain does eventually come back on Tuesday as the low pressure scoots by to our south. So Tuesday is going to be our first impact weather day. I don't have tomorrow as an impact weather day just because we're expecting just a few showers and mainly in the morning. But here comes that low as it scoots south. We're dealing with some off and on showers again come Tuesday, the heaviest though staying south. Wednesday will be our next impact weather day after Tuesday with a cold front that could bring us some heavy rain midday and during the afternoon Wednesday, and maybe even some rumbles of thunder for Wednesday as well. Then that cold front passes. We get a break from the rain Thursday, and then here we go again, another dip in the jet stream for Friday, bringing chilly air back to the region. So we stay in the low 60s the next couple of days here on your seven day forecast. We jump up a little bit on Wednesday with a few scattered storms. Thursday, we get a break. We actually will see a little bit of sunshine by your Thursday afternoon. And then there's that strong cold front on Friday, highs in the upper 40s with scattered showers, maybe even some flurries. And then bam, look at Sunday. 60 and Drew looking ahead, maybe by Monday and Tuesday of next week, well into the 70s. So Cross your fingers. Maybe we're finally going up be. and staying up. Could be, I don't wanna say it for sure just yet, but I do see warmer weather next week. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Thanks, Daniel.